Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be starting a new series, a new fun series. It's going to be the Championship Mode in NASCAR Racing 2003, which is pretty much to date the only NASCAR sim that has AI in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm being correct here. All the NASCAR's games are this bought out by EA and sort of a bit rubbish. This one was developed by Papyrus and that name might be familiar with you if you're an iRacing fan, seeing as they became the guys that now make iRacing. iRacing is pretty much based off this engine and you can tell there are a lot of little things in here you'll notice that uh, are very similar to iRacing. And uh, we're going to be jumping in a championship, like I said, we're going to be doing a full season, at least trying to anyway, seeing as my F1 challenge save, people have been asking about that a lot was lost during my reformat. Unfortunately, I did try and save onto a hard drive, but for whatever reason, it wasn't compatible when I started again. So I thought, well, let's replace it with something else. Let's do something else that's retro and awesome. And NASCAR is what came up. So we're gonna go into championship mode now. They're pissing all the TeamSpeak sounds in the background. And uh, as you can see, what it was set up, uh, the first race is at Daytona, Daytona 500, but we're gonna be doing the 500, we're gonna be doing the Daytona uh, 30% which is 15% sorry which is 30 laps and I'm going to be showing you guys the qualifying and the race so that's what you're going to be seeing here um, I've decided to turn the pace lap and yellow flags off because uh, it's boring for me to do and it's boring to watch and I've set the AI to 93% with adaptive speed control off 93% because I'm not too great at this game because it's circle racing and I'm not really an oval racer I've turned that off because if you have a crash, the AI effectively just wait for you. So in my testing, I found it not to be that interesting, and so that, that's what we're going with. Something else I want to show you before we actually get going is the car we're going to be using. Now, at the moment, I've chosen the 170 Sierra car because Sierra for the win, right? Um, but I would love it if I had my own personal car. This is where you guys come in at the start of this series. Uh, if there are any NASCAR 2003 painters out there, then please. Paint me a car, I will use it, it will be awesome. Uh, you get to I'll, I'll drive it throughout the entire series, not this race of course, because I've got to start somewhere. But uh, if anyone's out there who wants to fancy doing that, then I would love to have you. I'd, lo I'd love to have your, uh, your talents put on a car, so I haven't got this horrible stock car here. But anyway, let's jump into our first race, shall we? Enough talking, enough squawking from me. Uh, continue, yeah, make sure that's all correct before we hit continue, because you can't change it once you start. And we're loading up our first race at Daytona. Now, I've done my practice, of course, already, so I'm not going to be doing that again. So we're going to go straight to qualifying. Um, I try and practice before the races in this series, I think, because I don't want to end up having uh, a lot of stuff going on. So we're going to choose our qualifying setup as qualifying. There you go. And the race as fast. That's what I found has uh, done me best so far. So let's jump in the car for qualifying. Now, as you can see in the cockpit, this is our office for the next uh, for the next season. 2003, I think it's called a Winston Cup car back in there. My disclaimer, which I'll probably put at the start of the video as well, I have no knowledge of NASCAR, it's very minimal. So please excuse me if I make mistakes. But what I do know is that the uh, the car is revving lower at Daytona, it does at other tracks. That be oh, what, why is that on? The dual line for some reason is on. Uh, that's annoying. We'll have that on for qualifying, I'll turn it off for the race. I, I think I got some mashing buttons earlier. Um, the ideal lane came on. I was trying to find a way to uh, get rid of the gear shifting sound. But anyway, moving to the outside now, we're going to get as much uh, speed in the banking as possible. I should have done that at the start, really, but I was a bit befuddled by the uh, ideal line. Ignore that for this corner. So we're going to go right up the top, get as much speed as possible for our hot lap. There you go. Trying to straddle this uh, white line at the top here. There you go. Speed building now. Doing about 178 mile an hour, 179. Trying to aim for about 180. As we come off the banking and now onto our first qualifying lap. We get two qualifying laps for Daytona, which is good. So now we come down to the bottom. Okay, don't want to run over the apron until it's quite difficult though. You do I do miss that extra detail on the uh, modern four seat back. You don't get in this one, but the force back in this isn't terrible to say the least. So coming down the bottom now. See the line telling us to lift a bit. We aren't gonna lift at all. Hitting the uh, apron there, that's gonna slow us down, which isn't great. Coming back up again. Now starting to follow line a little bit. It's sort of staying in the middle. We'll gently float to the outside. The steering of the car is obviously uh, trying to pull us to left. This car is only good at turning left, turn right, and it does scary things. And we plunge back down into the bank again, trying to touch the apron with our hand. Not quite going to run over it though. Not the best lap in the world, but we'll come back round and try it again. Now this uh, game does have the uh, the black boxes that iRacing has, very similar black boxes indeed. So at the end we'll go to the standings and see where we qualified. So now this is our, probably going to be our fast lap. Try to keep as much speed as possible. Nice and smooth down to the bottom. There you go. Now 
Also steering, you can hear the tyres starting to give a little bit under the, uh, the load. These cars not famed for their uh, their grip. Pretty much all in the tyre, <laughs> this car. And again, coming down the back straight now. Um, I've, I have done some test races in this, so I, um, I'm i sort of used to how the AI acts, but there's a very big possibility that this video could be very short. <laughs> but hopefully it won't be, hopefully it won't be. So, last corner now, getting a bit wide off the end there, there's a little bit of a bump coming out of there, it feels like anyway in the steering, you have to build the inside of it to get a good run. Dropping down to the bottom for the last part, and qualifying over. And we'll, uh, we've got an idea where we qualified, so... Oh, we don't get to know apparently. Um, see if we can get uh, something on the standings here. Pop to standings, and apparently we don't know where we are. Oh, here we are qualifying, and oh, it's not looking good for us. It's not looking good. Where are we? We're 34th, so we aren't last. We're 34th out of 42 cars in our first little race, which isn't bad at all. It's good, a good start. We're going to skip happy hour because we aren't interested in that at all and go straight to the race. Now, make sure that the setup is on the car. Uh, yes, we're on fast. Good. And our first race of the NASCAR 2003 season about to be underway. So we're starting towards the back of the field. Oh, I'm starting my engine. Oh, I didn't turn off the bloody uh, the line. Two seconds, guys. All right, okay. We are back. Away we go. I had a little bit of a bad start there because I was just turning the driving line off. It was actually R. Had to very quickly look at the options to see what it was. But we are back, and the race is about to get underway. So we need to get back up behind this... Uh, this Kodak car, God, these things don't accelerate at all from a standstill. So I'll be starting second gear alongside the 7 car there on the inside. This is about as high as I've ever started in this race. I tend to start at the back because my qualifying is normally that awful. But it's good to be towards the back, it means we'll learn. And it's a 30 lap race, so it should be about 25 minutes, so maybe there's 24, 23 minutes of racing. Hopefully no instance for us. But we'll try and keep clean towards the start. We don't want to get into any issues. So, got my button map to the inside. And... There's the green. Up to third, almost straight away. See how long the gears are here. And just how little... Uh, sort of how detuned the engine is at Daytona. Giving that four, a little bump off the start. Up into fourth gear. And now, we can start rolling up to speed now. Just keeping an eye on the guys on the inside, grabbing the draft from the guy in front. Now you have to really listen to your spotter here, that's why the spotter is on, he will be telling me what to do and what not to do. I do, I do the thing is not to hit anyone, uh, you can cause massive crashes very easily in this game, which are really awesome to watch by the way, but obviously when you're trying to race the points it isn't too great. I don't like being up top of Daytona, I like being down the bottom, but we're going to have to be up top for a while until a, a gap opens up. But the car is not liking the turn four there. So now I'm going to use the 639 and get back up behind the four. See if I can go. I would like to slide in behind the 27 possible, but there is a car currently in the way. The 49 car. So there's some cars going high. We're trying to go middle, but the car is understeering. Losing some speed there. Trying to keep in the middle. Trying to keep the speed. Not doing very well. See if we can follow some of these guys through, shall we? Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. So it's very easy to lose momentum around here, and when you do lose momentum, you start losing places very quickly. AI in this game are fantastic, so if there is a mistake, it's probably going to be my fault. And we're now we're, we've, we've been dropped by the guy in front, we're now out on our own, just going backwards at the moment now. Yeah, 144 coming with me, which is good, so I can now maybe rock with him, but he's gone back inside, has he? Uh, there you go, inside, good. Alright, we found our inside lane now. So we're going to hold this and try and move up the hill a little bit. You see already how much quicker this is going down the bottom. Kind of try and drive up to the back of this car in front. I think that's a two car. I don't know names and numbers of this. I mean, well, I need the numbers all I can see, so uh, please don't <laughs> give me any stick in the comments not knowing that. So we are pulling up nice. It's 23 car, sorry. I think we're I think we've a net loss from our starting position so far, but I'm hoping we can start pulling through. 
coming off the front a little bit. Don't want to hit the back of him too hard, especially on that little uh, on the corner there, because it could cause a spin. And at this speed of this sort of car, any sort of contact really does uh, multiply very quickly. They're coming up behind the guy again. Just to get this right, we might get on the inside of this four car now. Actually, we're lucky. There you go. Here we go. Now, I've got to say, this, this sort of racing is a lot more fun to do than it is to watch. I, I picked up this game thinking, oh, jeez. Oh, we got understeer there. We nearly took out the car on the outside. Luckily, he gave us some room. We got some, how much of it? Understeer or aero push? But I'd, I'd, call it, uh, I'd call it understeer because I'm European. Will this five car slot in? No, won't. We are starting to move up a little bit. But like I was saying, driving is a lot more interesting because you've got so much stuff to look, look out for. On such a tight line with so many cars around you, it, it, can, it can't help but be really quite intense. I'm trying to keep low. This number zero is going to move in, which is good. We'll grab a toe, starting to fall back a little bit off the go in front. Outside line looking a bit slow. So I'm trying to move up a bit. Just I need to stop hitting that apron in the bottom. It really disrupts my turning. Also, it's quite scary as well. You have to hold the turning there a bit longer than you think you would. Just make sure you get around the corner. The car moves around a lot. Oh, number one. Pinching things a little bit. Got to keep it really low now. Gripping the wheel so tight around here. Michael was starting to go blue. You can really see how uh, how our racing comes from this and graphically as well. Giving the zero a little bit of a nudge. Pull me back off a little bit. Don't want to hit him around the corner because that is where issues happen. I feel like we are moving up a little bit now. Very high speed traffic jam at the moment, trying to find a way through. keeping this bottom line. We only sort of be for now right now I think. Uh, seeing this is my first race of the uh, the series I do just want to kind of finish. You know, finishing in the top 20 would be nice but I think it's just important to get to the end of this first one. Get filled with this. Obviously this is one of the uh, sort of the flat out circuits. We do have some shorter circuits as well. I was driving Bristol the other day on my stream and that was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to getting to those short circuits as well. Looks like we're start. Looks like the uh, bottom line is starting to work a lot better now than the top line. Three wide above us. Again, trying to just hug that bottom line. Don't want to go up by mistake and end someone's race. Very easy to do. Bottom line moving now. Oh, having to lift a little bit. A little bit of contact from somewhere. Oh, car slowing down big time. Lost a lot of momentum there. We're going to just fall back now. I'm not sure if I got a nudge or something there, but the car suddenly broke at the back. I refuse to give up this bottom line, though. We'll get back in it. A bit of a run up now as well. We're nice and easy. Running onto the apron there by mistake. Oh dear. Driving an overcar is so weird and forced to see back in, in the wheel. It doesn't quite do what you expect it to do. Sometimes it goes in all directions. I'm still in quite well by that. Viagra. Yeah. Need to get some ad revenue from them my <laughs> from this video, I think. Well, this uh, NASCAR race is one big advert. So they're like, we're going to go inside that six car. <laughs> Try and push him out, try and keep that bottom line. Try and get into the back of the AOL car. It's 45 coming down, yes he is. Gonna have to let off a tiny bit because he's going slow. Oh, that's a bit waving a bit on my line there. Gotta be, gotta be more vigilant holding my line. Keep digging, I'm digging. 45 going up, can we get before he gets to the corner? Yes, we can. Again, bouncing off that apron at the bottom, very scary experience. 
Doing all right so far. Doing okay. Although we are, we haven't actually fallen back off the main group. 45 with the run. Another car following him through. Oh, the Home Depot car. I know more recently that was uh, run by, I want to say, Joey Logano. Logano? Like I said, my NASCAR knowledge is awful. It's really bad. The only reason I know that is because I raced with that car in uh, Gran Turismo, 2013 car. Oh, top 20 and 20 laps to go. So we're doing a good job so far. If we can just keep moving up to the front, we'll be laughing. Keeping low. You always feel like you want a little bit more speed, but it just makes it makes it very uh, very interesting when you start getting the run on someone. You have to sort of you have to think ahead of what you're going to do with it. It's a very very strategic this uh, these longer ovals. 49 is he coming down? He's thinking about it. He's staying mid. We've got to turn right in. Hug that uh, apron line there. It's that number 15 car pops in. Again, taking that inside line, pushing my way up to the front. I'm not coming off his bottom line anytime soon. The outside line's looking slow. We're going to get a good run off this. Maybe we can get past the one and give the 48 a nudge. Going to sifting off time a bit for the corner. 48 going middle. Don't want to be doing this really, but it's AI. I can trust that more than I can trust the uh, the human racing in our in our racing. No lag here. So we'll think my game. Oh, oh, seven slow, seven slow. We'll give him a little bit of a nudge. Oh, that's a bigger nudge. That's uh, slowed us down a tiny bit. Seven again slow. Oh, we've got Mr. Earnhardt Jr. to the right of us. Any reason I know that is because he's out in his car. <laughs> no, I suck at this. Looks like the bottom line is starting to slow down a bit actually. We're getting stuck behind Mr. Home Depot. Getting a lot closer to the front now. I can see the leading car quite clearly, but got a lot of cars between him and I. I think we're getting stuck now. No line, no line is starting to slow down a bit. We need to find a, an alternative, I think. They're running free ride at the front. Now, see if we can get underneath Mr. Dale here. Yes, we can. That's a seven. Gonna keep going though. Keep going, seven. Keep going, keep going. Free wide, free ride to the front. This is intense. <laughs> push, 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 push. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Just a tiny lift of the throttle there. Tiny lift. Oh, I can't. I'm not wanting to turn there. We keep going though. We're still, still haven't hit anyone yet. Not even halfway through this race yet. Oh, that's seven so slow through there. Come on. Top ten. Inside the seven. Kind of wobbling a bit of the rear there. I think we hit the apron in a bad place. Can't see him. There he is. Moving up a little bit to get in the back of his Dodge in front. Oh, we've a top right now. We've made good progress. Oh dear. Start finding someone to work with, I think, at the front. I'm going to lift out of a little bit, the nine's going to come down. Zero getting left out to dry. I think we're in the top four now. But now we're getting left.
We've got a couple of duplicate cars in this race, but it doesn't matter, that makes you actually even more intense. Oh, geez, on the curb. On the That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Keep me inside, keep me inside. So we're clear at the front, single file at the front now. This car much better in the race than it was in qualifying. Let's leave that nine out to dry. Now it gets intense at the front. We've lost the majority draft. Gonna try and take some side draft. Oh, we get a nudge from behind. It's all over. Brakes hard on. Brakes still hard on. Don't go into the banking. Come on. Oh. We get spun around. I'm not sure who that was. Uh, Spotted didn't call anything. We're a long way behind now, and we have no hope of catching up. So we'll just keep running to the end, I guess. But oh, what a shame! The 15 there. Maybe we can catch up if he slows down. Maybe we can get back onto onto the back of that 15, and we can push up to the front again. But oh, that is frustrating. So we're going to try and catch this 15 car. I think we, uh, I said I just want to finish this and I'm so lucky not to hit anything there. We went for a long time. We went off for a long time there. I'll try and get repaired that after the race. But now I should really try and catch this guy in front. It's you know, imperative that I do. Because otherwise we're just going to be on our own. Well, so here we are then, just coming out of turn four. Just skipping to the end pretty much. This is what my race has been like since the, uh, the spin. Coming on to the last lap now, which means we haven't... I repeat, haven't been lapped, which means we will finish on the lead lap, but the, the fight is still very much on between me and this guy behind him. I overtook him just coming in uh, to, uh, to two, and now this is going to be between me and him. This is like for 40th place, I think. We can have a quick look on the, uh, the standings there. Yeah, this is for 40th, so we're 40 seconds behind the guys uh, who are leading the pack right now. So we'll stick to the other side, make him go the long way around if he wants it, but we're going to try and keep his 40th place and at least finish in the top 40, right? But the more important thing is the finish. It is our first race. We were very, very lucky not to have the big contact with the wall when we had our spin. Obviously, unfortunately, it doesn't mean the race ended this way, and it was a little bit boring to watch, so obviously, hence, hence the cut. But uh, it is a finish nonetheless, and it's our first finish of the season, so I should be at least be proud of that. So here we are then, coming across the line for the Daytona Sort of 500. Finishing 40th, but finishing nonetheless. I will take that for now. Yeah, this guy's got the right idea. But uh, that is the Daytona 500 done and done. I'll put it over side now, turn the car off, and go home and cry. God, you just reminded how bad the brakes are in this. <laughs> it could be worse, right? So here we are then. These are the, uh, the final standings of the race. Tony Stewart taking the win from someone, Labonte, whatever. 188 mile an hour. Um, but you see down here, down the list, keep going down, keep going down, and you see me. Uh, actually, coming uh, third to last, not second to last, so Mr. Myers was a lap down, uh, Mr. Mr. Lang behind me. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll put a replay of the incident in after I've stopped talking, so you can have a look at that. I hope you enjoyed this first part of this new series. If you did, make sure to get your series off to a good start with a like. And if you're interested in seeing more, make sure to hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care and have a nice day.